Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we did a review of the Credit Color colored pencils and I drew an image. I hope you like it. Uh, if you did, give me a like, subscribe, uh, comment down below what you'd like to see next in the next video. Thank you! Okay, here is the colored pencils as they come in this box. I originally started, or the pack originally comes with 24 or 23, I believe, and I bought three or four additional colors. I bought some additional greens, I believe, um, and so that is all of the colors I have together. I believe this set runs for a pretty penny. It's under, I think it was like $40, and so I, and that was including the additional pencils, I believe. And so that's where I started with this piece. I decided for this piece I was going to do a scenery, a, sky, a sunset. I wanted to do either a sunset or a sunrise. I don't remember which one it turned into. I think I was originally going for a sunrise, but I think it could go for either. Uh, and so I did work with that. And I have some advice for this piece, uh, but I would like to talk a little bit first about the colored pencils themselves. The colored pencils are pretty big. They're pretty large uh, pencils and they work really nice. They're very smooth as they go on. They don't really compare to Prismacolor because they are just so much they are so much larger than the Prismacolor pencils. They're very hefty. Uh, they have a very nice feel to them though because they're like hexagonal shaped and so they have a fun comfortable hold to them. They are very smooth pencils, and I originally thought that they were very, they were kind of messy because they are so big, but as I was using other colored pencils and reviewing some of my newer colored pencils as well, I bought two sets of colored pencils uh, to test out this in the Castle Arts. I realized that it may just be the colored pencil, the medium for colored pencils itself, and so I don't, I'm not holding that against this uh, set. I do wish that I had more of these colored pencils because I felt when making this piece that I just didn't have enough variety. Uh, I did just buy a basic set of their colored pencils because I wanted to get a little bit of everything and so I think that was my own fault there. I thought if I was going to buy a bunch of colors I might as well buy the set that they come in and it was a very nice set. It's a very nice case. I have since removed them from the case because I do like them and so I'm going to continue using them. And unlike the other pencil set where it was a travel case where everything had its place, this was just loosely thrown into a tin. And I thought that that was, it, opening that tin while doing other things was too noisy and too much. And so I moved it into a bucket so that I can use them for portraits. I am really excited to see how these piece, these colored pencils work on portraits and on other scenes or other types of artwork. And so I'm really excited to see these pieces. I do really like them. None of my content is sponsored, so this is just my honest feel about these pencils. I am going to continue using them, and I really did enjoy using them. The scene that I'm doing here is a camping scene in the woods, at, in, in the mountains. I don't know if those things normally go together, but for this it was really fun to do. I think that the range here, I'm not normally a scene like I don't normally do scenery artwork I do want to get more into it uh, but I'm not normally into drawing scenes but this was just for more uh, for fun I think that I could have worked on making the trees a little bit uh, more varying in size and shape and I did try to start doing that and you can see that here where I'm trying to make them taller I'm trying to make them wider but for some reason I was having a really hard time making the trees wider <laughs> and so I don't think I got any that are really varying in shape. In these in this piece more so than the other piece that I did recently you can really see how layering the colors uh, and using more than one more than two colors really affects this image and it really makes it feel finished more complete it makes it feel more in like more it has like it has more depth 
And so that was a really cool thing to see with this piece is that the, art, the advice that I have received on using colored pencils really translated in this. I had some advice for this video. For this one, I wanted to advise that even if you're not good at something or if you think that you are not, like it's not your specialty, like I don't draw scenery work or I don't draw portraits or I don't draw animals, which are all things that I have previously said uh, possibly in this video, uh, that you should still try to work on that because you do want to build a well-rounded art, like a well-rounded toolkit, if you will, of things that you can do so that if someone asks or if you want to make and sell artwork or if you want to do commissions and someone wants you to draw um, an animal or something that you're not really familiar with. Another thing I wanted to mention here is that not everyone is going to like what you're doing. Not everyone's going to like the artwork that you're making or the whatever it is that you're crafting or you're making or you're doing uh, you're writing those kinds of things no one's gonna not everyone's gonna like them not everyone's gonna like everything you create and a lot of people are going to give you critiques that you're not gonna enjoy and that's okay. that's not to say that they're right or they're wrong in a lot of cases they are not right a lot of cases that critique is out there just to make you feel bad and not in all cases though a lot of people do critique out of caring for you and wanting to have wanting to help you grow as an artist but not everyone is going to give you advice not everyone that is helpful not everyone's going to be able to say some things that are really important and that you do need to hear and so I do just advise that if you are getting critiques that you're not enjoying or that you're not agreeing with to not let it go to your head I've had a lot of people tell me that my artwork is not what they want to see from me and that's okay I was in a setting where that was the what we were supposed to do we were doing critiques on the content that we were making and the pieces we were making but I was exploring what I wanted to do with my artwork and I was exploring doing some non-representational non-figure work in the sense that I was adding these shapes to these paintings that I was doing that are just arbitrary according to my teacher and he just he really hated it he really really did not enjoy it but I was making it for me and I wanted to see where it was going to go it's been a while since I've been able to do that kind of work though and so I'm not sure if once I once I start painting again if I will continue to do the arbitrary shapes as he called them it was it got to a point where every single critique was him telling me that I needed to stop doing the, the arbitrary shapes and that he really hated them and that was fine because I wasn't making artwork for him per se. I was making artwork for a grade but I was making artwork because I wanted to see it and a lot of the fun abstract weird stuff that I was doing was stuff that I wanted to see more of and so I have some figure works with fruits where I was drawing fruits and putting fruits into my pieces because fruit is really easy to draw and it's really fun for me to do uh, and so and it was one of the very first things I ever really painted as an adult was an apple and it was a little study of an apple for a life painting class and I really liked the apples that I was doing and so I wanted to bring that kind of joy into the work that I was doing at the time and I also saw this artist who does 3D shapes or not 3D shapes but shapes that go on top of her imagery and so if she was to do a piece like this where it's the woods she would have triangles going through the image that are like floating like stars and I really was intrigued by that. I don't remember the name of the artist. I saw her on Tumblr or Instagram a few years ago and I haven't seen much of her work recently and so I'm not sure if she's still doing it. I think she was a an artist from overseas and so she's not a stateside artist and I just I haven't seen much of her work. Though I haven't seen a lot of other artists work recently because I've been working full-time and I haven't had a lot of time to do my own artwork recently and so I'm not sure 
what is trending in the art world and I'm not really interested in finding out because I just want to make artwork for myself and well I do want other people to enjoy my artwork I think a lot of artists do feel that way where we want someone to appreciate what we're doing but it's not often that everyone's gonna feel that way everyone's gonna want to see your artwork or they're gonna be as excited for your work as you are because you put a lot of time and effort into it and so I just it's really easy to get caught up in the dark and the angry and the angsty feelings that come with being critiqued unnecessarily or unwanted unsolicited critiques are the worst for that where someone's like I really hate this thing that you're doing um, and it's as long as it's not harmful to anyone it's really easy to get caught up in that and to feel overwhelmed by that feeling and so you just have to remember that if you like what you're doing and it makes you happy that no one else's opinion really matters and we're not always going to be on the same page with that a lot of people don't like scenery or a lot of people don't like figure work and so every